Here we go, day number two. I look so tall. Something that I always like to have on hand are lots of cards for different occasions. So I have some thank you cards in here. Your kindness means the world to me. And then I also just had some blank ones just for whatever occasion I needed. Um, and then some more teachery type thank you notes just in case I needed those. And then I also liked to keep some birthday cards in here in case I like forgot about someone's birthday. Not necessarily a kid, but like a coworker or just someone at school and I wanted to have a birthday card for them. I like to keep those here as well. And then I also have these little ones that just say hello if I wanted to leave a little note on like a coworker's desk or something like that. So I like to just have these. Both of these are from the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. And I think I got this case at Marshall's, but any like zipper case would do, but that's not something that I really thought about at first is good to have, but it's really good to have those on hand. Stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars. Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me.
all done for today so I will give you a quick walk around of what I got done I'm almost done setting up my room and it is day two so let me show you what I got done today okay so when you walk in this is kind of what you see so I've got two matching bookcases that I think I'm going to hang my curtains that were on the windows last year I think I'm going to get a magnetic curtain rod to go here to cover up all the stuff and then my printer is at home right now but I am going to bring it and put it right here also how sad is this I haven't brought myself to change it yet so sad um, so then I think I have a bulletin board at my house that's from my dorm in college. Um, and so I think that I'm going to put that up here. It's like a cork board type thing, not a bulletin board. I'm making it into a bulletin board, but I'm going to put that cork board right here. And then maybe like some, I don't know, pictures or something right here. We'll see. So I like how my desk turned out. Um, got everything all wiped down in the drawers. I did a little bit of, um, organization here. So looking good. Um, yep, these are my monthly bins and these are all empty still because um, I have not put anything in them yet. This is my fridge. Um, I have not really stocked it up yet because I just plugged it in so I've got some waters and cheese sticks. Um, so I put a couple of pictures on there but not all of them yet. Last year I kept some like spoons and forks and stuff in here but this year I don't think I'm going to do that because they would be exposed. It was just nice to have them here next to like if I wanted a yogurt or something. And then in this drawer I usually keep some more like granola bar type things. This is a stack of papers I need to sort through tomorrow. Um, so you guys probably recognize this white cube situation from my library last year. Um, and I, since I'm not having kids right now, I don't need a classroom library. And so I kind of repurposed it to sit behind the kidney table. So all of these baskets are empty. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in them yet, but I'm glad that I have the extra room for whenever I do need it. <laughs> I think you guys remember, but this broke last year and it's just very sad um and then i think this was from the target dollar spot last year these are from target two years ago this was from hobby lobby a lot of years ago like probably five um i got that when i was still in college um a good friend made this for me for graduation got this one as a gift my last day of internship and i got this one at marshall's let me back up a little bit so this piece of furniture is called a coat closet and i had one in my old classroom but my new classroom did not have one and so i asked the custodians if they're if they found any to spare if they'd bring me one and they did they're amazing um so i have a little mirror in here hello um, and then I've got kind of two rows of stuff in here so as you can see there's two rows of those longer bins and then four shorter ones in the front and then some longer things in here with my three hole punch that I love and then I did not finish really stocking these drawers yet I really have not put anything in them yet but just some ziplocs and then the notes that I like to give um, when anyone donates anything to our classroom. Not that I'll probably need these this year either, but just wanted to get them out in case because it's always good to have thank you notes. And then this stuff in here is just some more like personal items and um, <laughs> emergency, can never have enough, hand wipes, um, an extra lanyard, the thank you cards I showed you guys earlier and that kind of thing. And then I keep some anchor charts in here, but they were all falling down. Um, and so I want to eventually get a hanger that can hang here and like clip them, but I have not gotten that yet. So I had a couple of foam boards. So my mom had the idea to binder clip um, some of the anchor charts to the foam board to keep them straight. And it's doing a pretty good job. So I'm thankful for that. I am like out of breath. I lost the cabinet that was attached to the wall in my old room that I kept all of my um, construction paper and cardstock in and so for now it's in this thing. Um, these are some games that I inherited last year in my room and I literally never even opened them so I'm going to put them in the hallway and see if anyone else wants them. These I forgot are part of our curriculum and they need to go back in my old room to that teacher. And then, so I was able to just make two groups of desks. Again, no students are going to be in my room 
because I'm going to be there teaching from the computer. Um, so then I put kind of the rest of the desks along the wall just to kind of get them out of the middle of the room. And so it kind of left a lot of space open, which is awesome um, for it just being the two groups of desks. So then um, I swapped out. My assistant principal told me that I could swap out the rolling computer table, this thing, for desks so that I could have one over here because what I'm thinking, I think I told you guys yesterday, but I'm planning to make like a reading background here and then like have reading materials in my old student drawers and like on the table and stuff and then have my book nook over there um, with like my picture book display and then so I'll sit there for when I'm teaching reading. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a digital calendar or still the one that I made last year. I haven't decided yet. If I decide to put it on the whiteboard, I'll make it not look like that. <laughs> um, but that was kind of just temporary to keep it straight. I have not figured out where I'm going to put my alphabet yet because I think I'm going to print a mini set to go up here. Um, and then I will have some whiteboard space um, for writing things and then I haven't decided if I want to make like a writing or science backdrop yet we'll see and then on this other side I'm making a math backdrop I think and same idea I'll have like my math manipulative so I've kind of started stacking them over here um, so I'm going to have those kind of over here somewhere again with these two gray drawers there's one behind it also the two gray drawers under here but this table needs to be adjusted up so that they fit and I did not get to do that today um, and then I have this rolling cart that will kind of come with me to whichever side of the room I'm on so I'm pretty excited about this setup um, I'm going to be using a laptop here so yeah I'm pretty excited about it and I'm hopeful that it works out so anyway long story short that's why that computer table is there because it rolls also, this rug is so much cleaner than the one in my old room. I am hashtag blessed and thankful. <laughs> so um, I need to leave soon. So let me finish kind of showing you over here. So this is the mailbox that is a lot smaller than the one in my old room. But since, again, I don't need it for student mailboxes, it will suffice for now. And then these drawers. Oh, let's do that again so we can appreciate the beauty. Dun, 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 dun. So pretty. And then down here, it's not super beautiful, but it's functional. I've got like command hooks and this is all like my technology stuff, um, like user manuals and that kind of thing. I've got clothespins and ribbon in there, tablecloths and vases, and then that is all just like plastic bags and stuff. And then on the other side of the sink, I've got kind of all of my cleaning materials. And then this is like party wear, I guess you'd call it, but like spoons and um, plates and cups and that kind of thing and this is a paper bag or a plastic bag holder that I had hanging on a command strip in my old room and I just have not done that yet and then this is an area of student materials so I am loving that I got all these matching bins last year because it makes it not look quite so junky and not all of this stuff is going to stay here and like some of them need to be labeled and stuff but for the most part I feel like for having basically no closed up storage it looks pretty dang good um and i also did not have a filing cabinet when i um got to this room and so my sweet custodians found one for me and delivered it and so i just finished wiping this down and i'll move in some of the files tomorrow um actually every filing cabinet thing that i have is in this milk crate so obviously i'm gonna have lots of extra room in here which will be fantastic and you guys probably remember, but I had these on my bathroom door in my old classroom, and so I wanted to make them visible as soon as you walked in the room again. So I put them on, well, my mom put them on my bathroom door for me because she was here helping out today. So that is the end of day two of setup. Um, I have an online training that I am doing with my kindergarten team pretty soon, and so I need to get out of here and shower so that I will be ready for that. But I hope that you enjoyed watching. Um, I didn't get to film a ton today because my mom was here and we were moving furniture and kind of just all over the place. But I hope that you enjoyed watching the film that I did get.
I just wanted to show you it's okay if there's a little bit of a gap between where your fabric ends and where the bulletin board ends because the border will fully cover it and you won't know the difference. And so to make it straight like this with no wrinkles, we just pulled it and then stapled it tight. And I think it looks fantastic. Thanks, mom. Just finished day three of classroom setup and we're pretty much done with the whole room. So let me show you what we got done today. I love how these turned out so much. So this one right here, I made and I put up in my TPT store for you guys and I'll flip it over again so you can see the other side. So this is a freebie in my TPT store. And as you can see, I just put it in a page protector with some decorating command hooks and hung it up because it's not super heavy. So I just printed it on cardstock and then put it in the page. And I can't put this sign in my TPT because I purchased this clip art down here from someone else. Um, and I'm not sure if I have commercial, commercial usage of it or not. Um, but I will link where I got these images from because I think they were only a dollar, but they're super cute and there's a lot of choices. So I will link this and these images down in the description box for you.
word, it is so hot. I don't know if you can see, but I'm literally sweating and my mask is like wet. It is so hot outside. Um, but I got all of the stuff from my house and from the storage unit loaded onto the cart and brought into my room. So now I have to sort through it. There's some more along the desks over here. But I think first I'm gonna log into my computer and pull up my to-do list that I typed on Google Keep. So I'm gonna do that and see what I need to get started on first. It's loading. <laughs> Here's kind of a quick look at my Google Keep. It's basically like sticky notes on the computer within your Google Drive, um, which is really awesome. So I yesterday separated everything into categories of things to do at home things that I need to bring home from school, and then things that I need to do while I'm here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a look and see the things that I need to do now that I am here and see what I'm going to knock off first. I think that I'm going to work on getting together some of this stuff first while I still have the rolling cart and I can take stuff back to my car. So a lot of this stuff is because I'm going to be making supply bags at my house for my distance learning kiddos, which is all of my kids. Um, so I'm going to bring home some supplies that I have here at school. So I think I'm going to work on doing that first. I went ahead and pulled up the supply list that I was looking at on my computer on my projector so that when I'm walking around my classroom I can see it and not have to keep going over to my computer because now that my computer is facing the whiteboard it's a little harder to you know just walk by and see stuff so I put it up on the board so that I can see it. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. I don't really know what my schedule is going to be like yet, but I wanted to go ahead and just take out some of the ones that I'm, I know I'm gonna need. Some of them are not applicable, like for example, special visitor is not applicable this year. So I wanted to kind of leave some of those in there, but go ahead and get out the ones that I will need because I think I'm still going to have this behind me. So that's why I did that. I can't remember if I have told you guys this before already or not, but my very first kiddo at Meet the Teacher last year, my first year, gave me that right when she walked in the door and it was the last thing that I took down in my first classroom and one of the first things that I put up in my new room. And it's just really sweet and I always think of her. Um, and then these schedule cards are from Maria Gavin on TPT and I love them because they have just simple clip art images that help the kids understand what we're doing and yeah, they're editable, and so I actually think that I used a different font here than she does. Um, but yeah, those are by Maria Gavin. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. My command hooks don't work. Ah! I specifically bought ones that were heavier weight this time. So I bought ones that were five pounds each. So three of them should theoretically be 15 pounds because this pocket chart, when all the cards are in it, is pretty heavy. I don't know how heavy it is, but it's pretty heavy. And the command hooks that I used last year, I think I used two and a half pound hooks. It fell all the time. Like <laughs> you can probably see in some of my videos from last year, but it was like crooked more than half the year and sometimes I would just take it down because it would fall and I got tired of buying the refill strip so often um so I bought these bigger ones but guess what they don't fit like I can't even squeeze it like there's no hope of it going in so I'm wondering if maybe I could like string some yarn through here and then like hang it still on these you know what I mean this may not be a project for today but I'm sad because I really wanted to mark this off the list, but it's okay. Um, this is from Lakeshore Learning. I always got questions about it last year. It was like $50, but I got it with a 20% off coupon and I think it was worth it. So I think I'm gonna not do this today.
Thanks so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you turn on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I post new videos and give this video a thumbs up because that helps it reach other teachers. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.